Hey guys, today we're going to go over where we think you can put that Doug money to use. Stay tuned. So all Walmart associates that have been employed since through this Corona hype are getting another bonus that's going to be a $300. Uh, so after taxes, they're looking at about $200. So we're going to show you where we think you can invest that. One stock that I think you guys should invest in is AT&T. They have about a 6.8% yield. That's a 52 cent per quarter, so $2.08 per year per share. Right now it's trading at about $30.50. They've had growth for the past several years, and they're only doing a payout ratio of about 64%, so it's below 75%. So it's probably reasonably safe. Another stock I think you guys should invest in is Wells Fargo. It has about a 7.4% yield. They pay 51 cents every quarter so two dollars and four cents every year um, right now it's trading at about twenty seven dollars and fifty cents it's got quite a bit of growth left in there it was trading around the forty fifty dollar mark right before all this corona hype um they got a 39 percent payout ratio so a little bit better than at t so they got a little bit more money in the bank no pun intended and they've been growing year over year as well we got another bank I think you should take a look at. It's called Regions Financial. It was actually one of my free stocks from Weeble from getting a referral. Uh, so I started looking into it. Um, and they got a 5.1% dividend yield. And they've had growth for the past several years as well. Um, they're paying about 15 and a half cents per quarter. And so about 62 cents per share every year. And it's only trading around $12. So a little bit less money up front. Another stock I think you guys should take a look at if you're feeling a little bit more risky is Prospect Capital Corporation, PSEC. They have a 13.3% dividend yield. They pay out six cents per month, so 72 cents per year. And they're trading around $5.40. Um, they are a little more risky. They're at 84% payout ratio. Likely, this might get cut, especially with all this going on right now. Their revenue is not looking as good as it was last year. So they're down. And so somehow they're gonna have to make that up and it'll probably be cutting dividends in the future. But right now they are on track to pay out for the next three months at least. So you can jump on and get those dividends. Um, so last but not least, I got a couple of stocks here that doesn't look like they're paying dividends right now. Uh, but once they get back in the swing of things, they could have tremendous potential. So first up, I got Park Hotels and Resorts PK. Um, they do a lot of Hilton hotels. They're trading around $10.25. And if you got in at that price, you'd have a 17.5% yield if they start picking up where they left off. And really, the stock price has about 10 more dollars to grow to be back pre-corona price. Kind of like Ford. So they're trading around $6.25. They got a 9.5% yield at that price. And you got about a $3 growth. And I don't know, they just released that thing kind of competing with Tesla where they're going to do some electric trucks. And I think you should take some of that $200 we're going to get from Dougie and make some gains for yourself. I mean, that dividend's gonna compound, and right now these stock prices are pretty cheap. So, get in while prices are good. Hey, this is Nathan. I'm gonna go ahead and just jump straight in. Uh, the way I would put the $200 duck bonus we're about to receive, uh, I'd first buy a share of Intel. Uh, they have seen about 83% growth over the past five years. Uh, they're a pretty well-known tech company. Uh, they do a lot of computer chips and other things like that, really into business. Uh, they are normally on the cutting edge of things. So overall, pretty solid company, a company I've pretty, that's been one of my favorites so well. They also have a 2.147% dividend yield. So overall, expect stable returns from this company. So my next pick would be at and uh, As Kevin has already mentioned uh, quite a bit about them, uh, I would pick up two shares of them. Uh, I don't believe they're 68 percent dividend will be able to be sustained for a very long time but you might as well capitalize on what's there however i do believe at is going to continue to see growth over these next several years with the 5g revolution uh, it's going to expand new markets for them to potentially invest into and also open up abilities since they're already a major powerhouse in uh, the telecommunications world my next pick would be lockheed martin uh, i would be doing this via partial shares at 50 dollars if you don't have access to partial shares, uh, I would reinvest that into either Intel or AT&T. However, Lockheed Martin is a weapons manufacturer. They're contracted out to the U.S. military. Uh, they've seen 87% growth over the past five years. They have a 2.5% dividend yield. 
I expect them to see continued growth as the U.S. expands the military out into the Space Force. They will see increased competition due to companies like SpaceX and whatnot making major advances on space shuttles and that kind of particular type of thing. However, they should still retain a edge on the weaponry development, which I believe will give them a competitive edge into the next generation of warfare. My final company pick isn't due to value or dividend growth, it is due to uh, taking a bet on 5G. Uh, this company called Ericsson uh, deals in telecommunications hardware and equipment, uh, and as the world transitions to 5G, that means they're going to have to build new towers, completely scrap some of the old ones, and also transition some of the newer, old, like the newer style ones into 5G towers, uh, which means that their equipment and services will come in more demand. And since they are an international company, they'll be able to sell to just about any country they want to. Uh, I believe this is going to tremendously uptick their sales. Uh, and I believe that they can be a key player into the 5G transition if they execute it right. So I'm expecting tremendous growth in the next couple of years from this company. Uh, I'll try to keep you updated on it and see how it goes. So my overall strategy with my Doug bonus was to start a dividend slash value growth uh, portfolio. Uh, the reason being is I would like to see monthly returns on my investment so that I can generate some passive income every month. Uh, this would just help me retire a little bit faster and also it's nice to have the extra money. Uh, it's a small start, but every portfolio has got to start somewhere. I did take a small risk on the 5G company Ericsson, but I also like risk, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Start investing with us today. Sign up for Robinhood and get up to $500 in free stock with no deposit necessary. And then sign up for Weeple and get two free stocks valued up at $1,400 when you make a $100 deposit. Also, become a member on Patreon for other special perks. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, remember, buy stocks, smoke meat.